The small island of Mactan is a mystical paradise like no other in the Philippines. Its beauty lies in the contrast of the grandeur of nature and an urban landscape molded over centuries. But it's a mythical figure that lived in its ancient past which truly defines this island. A symbol of the relentless spirit of its people. At the heart of this island is the city of Lapu-Lapu, a place that is historically known as the battleground of the epic Battle of Mactan between Dato Lapu-Lapu and Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan, who came to conquer in the name of the King of Spain. This serves as the perfect backdrop to an event that brings out the relentless spirit of thousands of people coming from different parts of the world. Those who seek to conquer the challenge of the most prestigious 70.3 Ironman race in the country. A tough 1.9 kilometer swim. A treacherous 90 kilometer bike and a punishing 21-kilometer run that will push the boundaries and test the limits of the human spirit. Welcome to the biggest endurance race in the Philippines. This is the 2017 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines. This August weekend is one of the busiest in Lapu-Lapu City aside from its annual fiesta in honor of its patron saint, Virgin of Rule. But the mood is as festive and as vibrant. We are celebrating again the largest Iron Man branded event in all of Asia. The local government and the private sector went all out to give the visiting triathletes a truly unique experience. Actually, the city is very supportive on this since the, the promotions of the city, we are more on tourism and it's sport tourism. So I think it's really an opportunity that we are able to host the Ironman. And this is our sixth year, so every year we have to look forward what are the things we're supposed to improve. What we are really focusing on this year, nowadays everything is about social media. So as an example, the setup we have in the rooms is a little bit more tailor-made. Um, we, we have a little cloth for the, for the guys to clean their bikes. We have bananas, chocolate, we talk about the, the nutrition, what's in these. And we basically put our hashtag there and it's, it's a nice little setup, like a diorama. So we started coming up with all these small little bits and pieces to really use the Ironman to promote not only Shangri-La Mactan's resort and spa, but also Cebu and Mactan as a, as a, a destination. The sports tourism entices uh, more tourists to come, especially those uh, sports enthusiasts. So they would like to come to the Philippines and this is at the same time when they come here, they see the destination and they feel the people, the hospitality of the people, the food, shopping, and it's like um, selling the destination at the same time. Of course, very proud ako na yung uh, sports tourism is now uh, one of our priority market and we would like to invite more international events, especially on sports, to come to the country. And the Cebu experience will never be complete without its world-famous Lechon. Right now, as you see, we are doing our Lechon Festival and uh, we purposely timed it so that uh, it coincides with the Ironman because it is our vision and our mission to be able to promote uh, Cebu Lechon and, uh, and the local delicacies here during the time where we, we can get a lot of tourists in. And Ironman brings in a lot of people from all over the world and so we thought it would be the best time for us to, to, to promote uh, Lapu Lapu in Cebu. The culture, the people, the beach. There's always the itch to come back once you've experienced all of this. It's been amazing to see the growth of the sport in the Philippines. 
Um, I've had a, a lot of new friendships developed while being here and I really honestly believe that the Philippines um, and the Ironman 70.3s and the 5150 events that the Philippines and Sunrise events put on, they're the greatest triathlon races in the world. There's just that magical vibe that's bursting with excitement and anticipation of what is about to go down on this weekend. The energy has been felt even during the several pre-race activities where the triathletes interacted with the community and learned about the Cebuano culture. The pros who have raced around the world are always in awe of the Filipino hospitality. So I feel some kind of connection and that's really good. I mean, you, you can feel the same passion for what you love. The Filipinos you are the best guys in the world. It's, it's just great. Uh, I think it's, there's a real energy about this race. There's, a, there's an atmosphere on race day that's hard to find anywhere else. And that gives you as an athlete just a real special feeling when you're racing. The atmosphere, electric. The crowd, ecstatic. The race, epic. And there's no other man in the field who's so eager to relive that magical feeling than Tim Reed. The reigning Ironman 70.3 world champion has ruled this race for two straight years. If he gets that third straight crown, his legend will grow bigger in the Philippines and will give him a shot of confidence going into the world championships. I think for me, more than shooting for the title, it's more important to me that I just reflect where I am in my training. If I win, that's fantastic, but if I win and I feel like I didn't race my best, then I also get a little bit disappointed. So the most important thing for me is not the win, but going out and, and making sure I've given my best performance. Returning and hoping to unseat the reigning champion is Reed's compatriot and good friend, Tim Van Berkel. Two years ago, Reed and Van Berkel went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a frantic finish. I love this race, you know, it's one I really want to win and, and um, having that sprint finish with Reedy, probably one of the best races I've had in a, in a long time over the distance. You know, to lose to Reedy, who's a you know, 70.3 world champion by two seconds, that was, that was very motivating. But last year, Reed won by a bigger margin after his great rival went down with an untimely injury. It's motivating to return this year after crashing out the day before the race and then I'm um, hoping that I can have a good race again on Sunday. I didn't pull out of the race, so I went to the hospital, got patched up and you know everything was alright. I had stitches in my chin and, and I lost a bit of skin off my face but on race day I actually joined Cam Harper and we uh, did the commentating for the Asia Pacific Champs. Definitely I wish I was out there and it definitely hurt knowing that my fitness was really good too and, and having that battle with Reedy the year before I really wanted to be back out there and have another ding dong battle with, with Tim. Mauricio Mendes wasn't in the conversation among the other pros before the race. Maybe because he's coming from the off-road triathlon or maybe because he's so young to even be noticed. But don't be fooled by his mestizo looks. The 21-year-old Mexican pro is capable of springing surprises. He's the youngest Xterra world champion when he won at 20 years old last year. And just recently, he picked up two Ironman 70.3 wins going into this race. Well, I started when I was 10 years old. I'm 21. I started because of my dad. And this was like a father and son relationship. Instead of playing, like, we went out for, I don't know, for a bicycle ride or swimming or running. And that's where we started doing triathlon. Armed with youthful zest and charisma, he's become one of the most exciting crossover triathletes today. After getting the next set of world championship, his eyes are fixed on adding another world title. I really want to be the world champion sometime. I'm really gonna work hard for it. I mean, I know it's a process, because it's a sport of endurance, but yeah, I will give my best to be the world champion again. In the women's side, there are only a couple of names that are being tagged as favorites. Amelia Watkinson and Dimitri Lee Duke. They finished one and two respectively in last year's Ironman 70.3 Thailand. Yeah, that was uh, another Sunrise um, Ironman event at the end of November in Thailand. So 
Last year I was um, based in Phuket for about six or seven months. So it was um, just down the road from, from home, so I felt very comfortable, knew the course back to front, and it was a really awesome event. But all eyes will be on Dimity Lee Duke, the perennial podium finisher, but never the champion. The Ironman Cebu is 70.3 Cebu is something that's definitely on my bucket list. I've um, you know, been in the I guess the shadows of the likes of Caroline Stefan and Radka and a couple of really top um, elite athletes and I think it's now my turn to step up and and show everyone what I've got and I think this race is one of those special occasions where it would would make it an awesome experience for me and for the spectators around me so um, let's see what happens on Sunday anything's possible but I'll give it my best shot The 2017 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Oakley, Tear, Goo, Intercare, Trilight, Active Network, 